by the right of the council, by the will of the force. Welcome back into another episode of the galaxy famous Halcyon approved Jedi Talk podcast. I am one of your co hosts here on the High Council, Matamaka or Tom for short. Joining me is always here, but before I introduce them, you need to follow us at Jedi Talk Instagram. A Jedi Talk podcast on Instagram. Oh my God, gentlemen. Dial 91, and when I stroke out, dial the other one. Um, and YouTube.com slash Jedi Talk. Speaking of stroking out, he's stroking it up in his glory hole over there. The mayor of the hell. See, on Evan T. Boucher. <laughs> Evan, how the hell are you today? Hey, Adiga and good journey. That ties into <laughs> something that none of the listeners will ever see, but it's in our group chat. I. I'm batting around names for the awesome room that I'm sitting in. That's not in, the only so. thing you're batting around in that room. <laughs> hey, <yep. laughs> that's why uh, that's why the glory hole is a name option for it. So. Dude, I hope our group chat never leaks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> for many reasons. Yeah. Mainly for the terrible things we say about Kyle Thomas Cosentino. That's... That's for right. certain. Yeah. Um, is middle, is that name, his middle Thomas? name is Thomas? It is. I'm. I'm. I'm almost positive it is. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? That's <laughs> my middle name. Thomas. I know. Just. Just so he knows who his daddy is all the time. So. <laughs> Man, it was my dad's middle name, and now it's my middle name, and it's Tom's middle name. This is or not Tom's middle name. It's Thomas's first name, Tom's name, but it's Kyle's middle name. Wow, what a web. <laughs> uh, Do we know your middle name, Tom? Have we? I mean, I have to say it on here, but do, are, I don't think I don't think I know your middle name. It is Robert. As in the bass player for Metallica, Robert Trujillo. It's actually after my grandfather. So, but yeah, Robert. Thomas Robert. Okay. So, gotcha. Okay. Um, I do know the gentleman who we have not introduced yet. His middle name is Brad. That's Brad Hughes. Brad, how the hell are you today? Hanging out under R2D2's dipstick lately? Some it's heard? me. Yes, I have. It's okay. a, it's a it's it's a it's it's it fits very well, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he be booped. That's what he be booped. Be booped. That is happy beeps. Ha- happy, happy beeps. beeps happy beeps, elated happy beeps. dipstick beeps. <laughs> I got a little yeah. sunburnt today at Typhoon Lagoon. It's been a good day. Oh, man, I, I'm jealous. I love Typhoon. It's so nice. Typhoon's I, the best, that's yeah. Like our, that's like our tradition now. We go on the weekends like every... I will say, pro, uh, pro tip, go on a Sunday, not a Saturday. Holy shit, it was busy. Yeah. It was so busy, Tom. We were sitting over there by the uh, Crush and Gusher exit pool, and people were setting up camp at the picnic tables. Ooh. Jeez. Jeez. Because there was Usually so, there the was Crush and Gusher left. area is like the best place to go ca- like yeah. set up a little camp. Yeah, it was completely busy today. Un- unreal. Yeah. It was I, wild. I, um, I've got f- my dad's side of the family is coming over or visiting in middle of August. And my stepmom was like, we'll watch Lily for a night. And Courtney and I are like, we're going to H2 Glow Nights. <laughs> so I can't Hell wait. Hell yeah. Yeah. Nice. I can't wait. I love we that. We actually... Uh, that's around mid-August is is Britt's birthday. Oh, perfect. So she she's she's been asking to do that party. She cuz the kids love Typhoon Lagoon, which I think next year I might not even get them a Disney pass cuz only get them on the weekends. We don't really go on the weekends anyway and just let them do their water park pass cuz they they like it better it seems. Okay. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. Um yeah. Speaking of parks, yeah, Brad, you were in Typhoon today. I just got done doing all four four days in a row. I haven't done that in a long time. Jesus. Yeah, oh, I can't believe you're still awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Family was here, so it's just like going back and forth. And then like my mother-in-law was here, and she was staying here and coordinating going to the parks with her other son who's here for his bachelor and bachelorette party. They're getting married in October. It was my brother-in-law on that side of the family and their friends. So, um, And then our AC went out on the overnight into July 4th. So we're, oh. we're like, we, <laughs> yeah. So, like, we can't keep, you know, my 10-month-old here. You know, I don't want my mother-in-law sitting in here as the heat's rising up. So, we booked a quick, just a two-night stay just to just to make sure that, um, you know, we wouldn't be screwed or anything over at All-Star Sports. So, we hopped over to All-Star Sports. How was nothing that? Like a, nothing like a quickie at All-Star Sports. That's right. <laughs> nothing like a quickie under the under the football helmet, you know. Yeah. Staring in the eyes of that <laughs> of that uh flag up top that's the Devil Deacons. I think was that was the name of the team I liked. Like Devil yeah. or Demon Deacons. Or Demon, Deacons. Demon Deacons. That was it. Demon yeah. Deacons, yeah. So um no, it was fun. I you know right, right right next to the foosball players, the giant foosball players. Yeah, yeah, the giant yeah. foosball players. Our our actually the Is that at sports? Our room view was down into like the big football field, so it was it was pretty cool. Um one of my favorite I, Disney memories is there when Bentley was yeah. Like 
three ish. He was really into football players. Like I don't, I don't even know why. He never really watched the game. But McDonald's had these like football toys. Oh yeah. And he was like for some reason like obsessed with these little like statue things. And so we booked All Star Sports so he could go and play on that. Football oh, cool. Field. We spent nice. we spent like half a day there on our trip one time, just sitting there playing football oh, yeah. and running around. Trying to kick field goals, it was so much fun. That's awesome. Yeah, my favorite. We Disney did that on several family trips. We stayed there a handful of times as kids. And the last time I, I was like there was a couple years ago when Austin stayed there, and we took Jackson too. So Jackson even made oh, an appearance. Oh, excellent! There. Yep, that cat's he well traveled. <laughs> he yeah, he went to the arguably one of the best Disney resorts, Animal Kingdom Lodge, and then he went to one of the worst Disney resorts. But I still love All Star Sports. Yeah, yeah, Sam. I know that like they're objectively not great hotels, but there's there's a there's like a '90s charm to them that you just can't oh, yeah. get anywhere else. I love it. And actually, yeah, we got fun. some fantastic Disney magic there too, because we had two rooms, right? Courtney, myself, Lily in one room, and then my my mother in law had another one. And the cast member who was checking us in was like, "Oh, give me a second. She's like doing her thing. She comes back. She's like, "All right, I found two rooms next to each other for you guys. Here you go." Oh, that's cool. It was like like yeah. didn't even ask. Like I didn't ask. I did not expect that because we just booked like the morning of. And then yeah. she, she got us in, so it's 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 awesome. So yeah, I mean, I I know we rip on Value Hotels as a bit, but they're great for for they're a Disney fun. trip. They're fun. The and resorts? I like the resort mugs. Mm-hmm. That's my yeah. jam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love getting a resort. If you don't get a resort mug, you didn't stay at Disney you, World. You didn't stay at Disney World exactly. <laughs> yep. yep. The resorts and Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard when it's open still have like the Disney. The, the Disney, you know, it, can we, it still feels Disney to me. Can we like, please? They're great. Can, can we get Blizzard and Typhoon open at the same time, please? I know, I, man. I wish. I know. God. What's the reasoning behind this? I, I, I just Money. hearing that staffing. I, I was going to say, ask Mr. Krabs. He'll tell you. I thought I, I, th- I heard it was just it was more staffing and not. I, well, you want to know what I think? Same. I don't even think. I don't think it's that. I think that it went down too quick back to back. I have a I have a sneaking suspicion. D23, they're going to announce that it's a fully frozen theme park now, oh. water park. That was that was the I rumor know, a little man. while ago. Hmm. I hope not, because the little frozen spot they added was great. I really enjoyed it. So like, if it's a full frozen takeover, that's not going to be cool, but the little bits of frozen they've done is perfect. It was very the tasteful only thing, and wasn't stupid. The only thing I wouldn't like about it would just be hearing frozen music all day. If Everything else, would, I don't think it would bother me. Yep, that was one of my least favorite things about working with Olaf at Hollywood Studios. They play the same three oh, frozen God. songs all day. Ugh. They don't play anything from the sequels? Or the sequel? No, and that's what we always said. We're just like, why don't you play some of Frozen 2's music? Yeah. There's some great songs there. Lost no, in the Woods. Stick to the same. I love Lost in the Woods. Do that's... you guys like Frozen 1 or Frozen 2 better? 1. 1. one. Yeah. I mean, one's one for me, too. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Most people say 2. But really? Know, it's weird. Frozen, really? Yeah, yeah, most people like Frozen Two better. It's weird. Interesting. Okay, yeah. that's fine. It was it was okay. I I, I enjoyed it, and I I I'd watch it again, and can't wait to show Lily. But yeah, one is yeah. way better. Welcome. To you Frozen wait until talk. she gets into the princess <laughs> yeah. stuff, dude. It's so much fun. This is yeah, Frozen that Talk. Is so fun. Hashtag Team well, Anna. Yeah. <laughs> you know what else still has the Disney feel that I did like a month ago, but I've never talked about it on the show. The make your own jelly beans. That sure, yeah. I, I don't know about that. Cirque du Soleil, man. Cirque du Soleil, I haven't talked about it, but I did it like a month ago. That's and true. And it, holy crap, guys. Like, I told Brad and Tom off the sh- off the air, but it's incredible. Like, I I don't know why no one talks about it. I've never really heard anyone talk about it except for, like, Jim and Len when they do their advertisement for it on the podcast. They're advertising for it, so they have to talk about it. Even though he's genuine in his, his review and his talking about it, but... Cirque du Soleil was awesome. It's incredible. And I, I doubt they come watching, to us at any point to, to advertise. <laughs> yeah. Watching the show in person is what, like, you people are probably smarter than me, but I was like, oh, yeah. this is why you're not allowed to film it. Because, like, if somebody messes up in one of those stunts, they're probably going to die. So yeah, they probably don't want that on camera. I was always like, why is it so secretive? What's the big secret? But then I was like, oh, these stunts are so insane that if someone messes up it's death and they don't want that out there on camera so i get it and it, if you're but, an only child to a couple of gymnasts i got bad news for you hashtag yeah, dick so, racing so i'll say some rich billionaire is gonna make put right. you in a bat yep. put you in a bird costume that's make right you fight crime with them yeah that's right go. but that that show was <laughs> incredible it it has like everything you want it has uh, the refresh they did a few years ago to make it quote like more disney ip like was done well i think it has the ip oh, okay. and the 
characters and the themes all tied in well and it still has a cool story to follow there's a lot of cool character interactions and of course they come into the crowd and it, it feels very I, I like we say it's all the time but like as close as you can get to the star cruiser i kind of think how it has those kind of acting beats and story moments and it's like three hours long too because they have like a 30 minute pre-show that Jesus. they don't really advertise <laughs> like, oh it's like a 90 minute show but it's really like I said three, but I guess two hours, because it's like a 30-minute pre-show, and then a 90-minute show, and it's incredible. So I highly recommend it. I get why there's not a lot of advertisement for it, but I wish they could advertise it somehow so it never goes away, because when I went, it was only like half full. So oh, wow. go and see it while you can, people, because at this rate, half full in Disney's eyes is a failure, as we know. <laughs> so go see it while you can. Uh Speaking of half full, Tusker House was half full today. The, I told you those oh, four parks in four failure. days. It was gotta close it. It was not. It was not that busy in those four days. It really wasn't. Hollywood Studios was packed, but when isn't it? So um, apparently, it wasn't on the fourth. Jeez, I get. I was upset. I'm not going. Oh. Rachel said it was like a walk on for Rise. Everyone yeah, I mean, at a certain, every, yeah, everybody goes to Magic Kingdom for the fireworks. Magic Kingdom was oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah, Magic yeah. was packed. That's why we got out of there and. We we watch the fireworks from California Grill. <laughs> Very smart. smart. Uh, Those fireworks for the Fourth of July are awesome. Oh, they're cool. Yeah, they're yeah. so great. Highly recommended. So, um, in any event, by the way, going back to the Cirque du Soleil thing. Yes. Uh, I, Cirque du Soleil makes sense to have a Disney themed show. They have like Beatles theme. They have Michael Jackson show. Like that's kind right. of their thing. Is they center it around a theme. So I I, I never had. And, it's, and I'm not saying you did. I'm just pointing this out no, my yeah. own thing. I, I never had an issue with them doing like a Disney themed show. It made sense, especially for it being a Disney World. The only yeah. thing I wish they would have done is I wish they hadn't have done this show. And now that they own Fox, they should have done a Greatest Showman. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. I've never seen that movie, but people love it. So I fucking love that movie. And I hate musicals. Yeah, that's true. It's such a fun movie. Like, it just, it's so, it's so fun. That was the only movie that year I saw that like I I saw it back to back nights. It was that and whatever Star Wars movie came out that year. I think Solo, but I, wow. I, I that movie's so fun. It's such a fun movie. Dang. And the I've heard fantastic. a lot of people too say that the original Cirque du Soleil was better than this one. So I'm like, if there was a show better, then holy cow, it must have been ten out of ten because it's like a nine point eight mm-hmm. out of ten right now. So I don't know how it was better, but that's a great idea if they ever change it, which they will. Um, changing it to Greatest Showman would be pretty sick. Is there it's nothing cool. else to do in the middle of Indiana, Evan, in the summer? Because your brother just sends us reels like he's a twelve-year-old girl, like over <laughs> and over not, again. Man. He he just there sent us another one. Really She's like Christ, Austin. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> no, there's not. That's so. Uh, funny. There's nothing to do there any time of year. I'll say there's nothing any any time in Indiana. <laughs> this is true. There's but uh, there's more than just corn in Indiana. I thought. Um, yeah. The biggest distillery in the country is in Indiana, though. Is it really? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Ross and Squibb, Ooh. also called MGP. It's a Ooh. big distillery there. They supply, if you ever see it on the back of any whiskey or bourbon distilled in Indiana, it's that distillery. Oh, intro. okay. Today I learned. Indiana is important for a little bit. <laughs> they make they make good stuff, which is what's weird, but it's, it's most of their, like most brands that source will source from okay. uh, M- MGP, okay. Ross and Squibb. They, they change their name like every three years because people get onto them. <laughs> Evan, um, well, I know you wanted to talk about a few more things before we get into transitioning to episode six of The Acolyte. Well, yeah, when you're in Indiana, one of the few things you can do is you can build Lego. And I did that quite often. So there's some new Lego drops that are coming. One is actually Skeleton Crew related. Ooh. They're putting out the Lego set Sweet. of the ship and like the Jude Law character and the kids characters before the show comes out. I think they have Lego names? set is dropping... Yeah, I didn't read off all the names, um, but the show is coming out in, like, what, December or something? We don't really know yet. Yeah. Uh, and ish. this Lego set is coming out in October, so it's wild they're dropping a set before the show. Like, that never happens. They don't do sets before movies, before shows, so it's really strange. I don't know what that implies. I'm not that smart, but Correct. the ship is called the Onyx Cinder, Ooh. and at first when it dropped, I thought, because Onyx. the show isn't out, uh, because the show's not out yet, I thought it was an updated... Knights of Ren, the the Sith or Sith the, wow I'm stupid, the <laughs> Night Buzzard, Night Buzzard ship because they put one of those out a few years ago yeah. and it was an awful set, 
So I was like, oh, they updated it to make it better because this ship looks just like the Night Buzzard. Oh, interesting. It turns out, no, it's from the Acolyte. Or, geez, I am really dumb. It's from Skeleton Crew. I'm stumbling all over myself. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited for that set because it's it looks really dope and it's cool to see it before the show comes out. So speculation can sure. stem from Lego. Sure. That is interesting. And then we finally got an image of the Jedi Bob Starfighter, which I talked about. Oh, I don't know, weeks ago, how in the new special coming yep. out in August, the Jedi Bob character is a deep-cut, nerdy reference to LEGO Star Wars fans, because there was a Jedi Bob character they made in the early 2000s, and he was in one set, and everybody freaked out and fell in love with him, and then they like kind of tried to delete him from existence, because he's not a real Star Wars character. There's nobody named Jedi Bob. So then the fact that he's going to be in this special on TV, and then he's in this LEGO set, and he's getting his own Starfighter... That just for all of us nerds made us have a nerdgasm. We all had to change our pants. So <laughs> he's they showed a picture of him in his ship, and it's coming out soon. So us nerds are excited. Congratulations. Where's thank you, thank you. Where's my Rick the door technician the character? Dude, we're finally getting the Cal Kestis figure. So that one one at a time. Mm-hmm. We got BD one first. He was the first Jedi survivor fallen order character. I'm, BD one. I, I am. I am okay with that. I approve. Okay. And now we're getting Cal. Mm-hmm. So that's fine. A seer would be sick. A Grease would be sick. Marin. Yeah, you yeah. gotta have Cal. Sure. Marin yeah. would be yeah. Mantis would be fun too. Yeah, I've seen people build custom mantises, and they are like this big. They're massive. That's something that would take thousands. I'm surprised of they haven't done that yet. Yeah. They don't really do a lot of video games. It's amazing that we've got a BD one and a cow like that right there. They have a whole, they have a whole Mario lot. line and Zelda now. Yeah, that's like the first branch into it, and they do uh, what's it called? The Minecraft games too. They branched into those now, so they're, we're getting there. Maybe for the third Jedi game, we'll get a Jedi Lego set. So we'll see. Uh, Speaking of ships that that are around, did you guys see that the Haslab? got funded oh no i didn't to cantina good that yeah, means people were interested funded. it just wasn't for me it wasn't yeah. for me either i mean i just it's so it i'm not a playset person i like a contain i like a contained ship yeah it's just a cooler idea yeah yeah i, I was it, I, I, whatever it's it, it's like to, to me too is like same old same old and like they just kind of went with a safe call and you know whatever that's fine I get it. I mean, when you have yeah. two or three back to back that fail, yeah, right, <laughs> you're gonna play it a little safe. So I a playset is weird too, though, because like the people that are buying this aren't buying it to play with or give it to kids to play with. So like it's just kind of weird to me. I don't know if it's I, diorama purposes. They just want to have a cool display. So it's not. That's really what a it is. Set. Pe- a there's a lot of people set. who buy these to display them and yeah. like have like a. You see those like you know TikTok or Instagram reels. People like showing their. Star Wars rooms and shit. It's just gonna be something like that that people can throw in there. Yeah, yeah. Like the the sail barge, I would open it. That thing is too fucking beautiful to be sitting in a box. Sure. Yeah. Have you ever I seen one of those in person? In person, no. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Unless they I saw it at MegaCon. I th- I, th- I think I saw it at one of the conventions. Yeah. I think they had it on display, and it. I mean, it was just so beautiful. Like the detail on that, like. I, it's a pain in the ass that they're like two thousand dollars, but as far as like the detail and work that went into them, it's worth it. Because that thing I is kinda, like, would be like a centerpiece. Yeah, for sure. I kind of justified the answer to my own question there because I was like, I just talked about buying Lego, and I look around my room and I have Legos that are just displayed. So like, same thing. A playset for a Haslab turns into a display set. Same with Lego. I just have a nice display. Every now and then I get up and like swoosh them around for five minutes, but. <laughs> 95% of the time, they're just displayed on a shelf. So, I answered my own question. People display Lego. Some people display Hack Labs. I get it. Mm-hmm. And some people put different things into Legos. And they fall onto them. And they have to go to the proctologist. Exactly. So. <laughs> right? Or the Legos fall in them. That's right. And those and yeah. those people, they're named Kyle. Oh, yeah. 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 I think so. I think Can that's where he's at. get my Lego... Lego Kylo Ren out of my urethra. <laughs> Again? It's not that easy, trust me. It's not that easy. Half off Again. the fifth time. <laughs> yep. The, the yeah, helmet like came off in miles. my urethra. <laughs> He's got frequent flyer miles of, of Legos getting pulled out of his penis. 
That, that's what Evan just said. Uh, <laughs> that's what Evan just said. I, I did say that. Did. Oh, Kyle play with Legos, or I say play with. Does he collect Legos? Oh, he plays with them. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think he does. No. Oh, okay. I was no, gonna he's say, not these fun. jokes will be better suited for me because I'm the Lego person. What? All right. Oh, God. Yes. I'll take him. I'll take it. This for is low. This is, he actually did the um, the patent of Soren must be like done. Because there's a bunch of like Soren over cities opening up, and there's like a Soren over Chicago that opened up, and he just did it. Oh yeah. So yeah. He, oh really? Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, I think there's one at Niagara Falls too. There's a handful yeah. of them across the country. Yeah. Oh cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't know if it was like a patent or something, but like I swear to God, it just like I started to see all these copycat Sorens, just like popping up all over the internet and stuff. So. That makes it. That makes that ride, which I think is the most overrated ride that Disney has ever made, even less special. Which to me, I, I literally have not done that thing in probably five years. You didn't do it when it's uh, when it was soaring over California. I couldn't run nope. fast enough over there to do it when I came back. I, I did not. I, well, I meant nah, to. I didn't I, either. I didn't get around to that it. was that was just nostalgia for me. So yeah, you got to see good old Michael Eisner. I did. Getting that golf ball. Yeah, that's right. I did. <laughs> and they still pumped they pump in that orange smell they sure right? did like the smells yeah, were perfect oh, cool. the smells were perfect uh, they did a really good job yeah. with that with that comeback holly told me that when she when she used to be a she used to be one of the vip tour guides yeah she told me that one of the things that she would do on soren is when that scene with the golf ball she when they when she knew she was going to epcot she would take a golf ball in her pocket <laughs> And they'd be sitting there on the ride, and she would act like she kept, caught the golf ball and hand it to the kid. Oh, That's genius! Oh man, she is a genius. That's awesome. That's yeah, cool. Right? She's a keep. She's a keeper. Fuck yeah! I, I thought that was like yeah. one of the coolest things. Like, could you imagine as a kid? You'd be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> and that's how they met. Brad was on was on a a school kids, retreat. That's how I met your stepmother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the last time I was in the parks, I was with. Tom actually doing a little bit of a field field journey for some uh, for some content. I hate saying content because I'm not like a content creator, which I hate that phrase too. But I got some, called an influencer video. the other day, and it pissed oh, me I, off. Oh, that's even worse. I hate that phrase. What? What phrase? Influencer. Oh, influencer. I got called an influencer yeah. the other yeah, day, yeah, and it was. Like, just, if I'm influencing you, so you've gross. got problems. So. Yeah. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. That's yeah. the way I see that. Yeah. That that was the last time I was in the parks and. A little behind the curtain that scene here. Uh, that was actually the first thing we filmed for Yvonne's video. It was. The ending yeah. scene of his, his little bio video. And then we did some cool stuff where we did some stuff in Yvonne's office, which if you've seen our video for the Halcy and the Legacy Continues, um, Yvonne's office makes an appearance. Um, and then we went to Pike Grandessa's Cantina. Which, the speakeasy. The speakeasy, man. Like The set dressing for Yvonne's office was all Tom. He killed it he crushed it and he knew what to set up and how to make that desk look legit but then we got to pike's cd what cantina and speakeasy and that looked great yeah. Yeah. It, yeah it looked legit so like, we got especially when we turned the lights and, off yeah yep so that was a ton of fun and then i had like five or six lines or whatever if you've seen the video you know and it took us like 10 takes it took I evan 10 takes I, yeah evan's fault yeah. i just want everybody to know so that i, kept uh, I, up I fucked up a few of those I, I completely forgot a whole thing we were just in there staring at each other for like 20 <laughs> seconds <laughs> right well but the, the biggest one was where like you said your line perfectly and i just stood there and stared at you and you stared at me and i stared at you and then they kissed and tom stared at me yeah and then yeah and then i was like do we oh, have yeah, that I, footage we should do a blooper reel i'll look I'll go look. I yeah. don't think I deleted much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that was a ton of fun. That'd be and funny. It's a, it's a, it's a fun thing that you know, just getting a peek behind the curtain. And I will never be an actor for obvious reasons, but it was the audience knows this. Kinda, yes. yes. So <laughs> that was awesome. I'm looking forward to the next video because Tom crushed it with Lias's video and Avant's video. So the next one's going to be even better than Avant's, I think. The next one's going to be interesting. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I'm excited. And I'm excited for the Legacy Continues event that we got coming. That's a given. Yes, more info on all that stuff on several other channels. But we're here to talk about um, the Acolyte. Uh, so this, this is such an interesting series, guys. From an aspect of the response that it got before it was really even made. Once they heard who was running this thing. And... We were critical to a sense because we had heard like 
oh, this individual didn't know anything about Star Wars. They were a Trekkie person, but... Which is weird because now interviews have come out that says she loves Legends. Yeah, it's like, so this is wait, different. Right? Yeah. Is it she doesn't know yeah. Star Wars or she knows Star Wars? Right. And, it's like, and it didn't matter because we've loved the show, so it didn't even matter yeah. either way. Yeah, so... I haven't, I haven't loved it. I, I really loved the first two episodes... And I loved the third episode, or whichever one. Five. Was, with all the... You loved episode yeah, five. You, you didn't like the flashback. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. Go ahead. The, uh, no, we were just saying, yeah, we were with you there. Reading oh, yeah, we were agreeing. Two and yeah. five. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just... Uh, I either like I, I, this, I can't say when, when people do this, they're like, oh, I'm not a big Star Wars fan. And then they... You know, hear people bitch about it, and then like, actually, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, just not the movies, the stuff that no one knows. <laughs> no, man, no, you're not. You came out on, on like, like if 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 someone asked me if, if I'm a Star Wars fan, I wouldn't be like, yeah, just the comic books, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, or, or like, I'm trying to think, compare it to something that I like, like just a little bit. I guess like I'm a Metallica Harry fan, Potter except everything after Justice for All. It, it's like yeah it's kind of like i only thing. like i only like uh what, what's the what's the really bad one lou what's it called lulu yeah <laughs> lulu yeah. i only like lulu yeah uh yeah. i'm a bad per- i'm a bad person to ask that question too because for me it's either all or nothing i either like it or i don't so well, that'd be like saying i'm a disney fan but only the the disney video games from the 90s like yeah. that's not <laughs> that's not you're not a disney fan you like a few video games there. right like how, why you it's okay like you don't have to like star wars J.J. Abrams didn't like Star Trek, and he made great Star Trek movie. Like, you don't have to like it; you just have to be able to write a good story. Which mm-hmm. you're, you're, the bones are here for a good story. <laughs> I, I haven't read or watched all those interviews, so I don't even know what was said word by word. But that's what's happened here. I think they've got a really good character story involving mainly Soul. I think he's like the legit main character in this. His story and his character arc that was like the main focus, and they're like, okay, let's make that into a Star Wars story. Guys, That's basically what's happening. I, I will live comment WWE's Money in the Bank. It just started right now, and breaking news, Trish Stratus has arrived at Money in the Bank. We have not seen her. WWE Hall of Famer. I'm sure you guys know who Trish Stratus is. Brad, I'm looking directly I've at you. Never, I've yeah, never no, heard that know. name before. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, breaking news, but come on. The last name sounds like a Star Wars name. Strader? Stratus. Stratus. Strader, either way. I'm just saying, we get words. some wrestling mouth breathers to listen to this, so we'll get some downloads at least. So, Isn't there yeah, a there very terrible podcast that's wrestling mouth breathers? Yes. Yep. Them. There you go. Them and their legions okay. of uh, hot dog eaters. So, what's, what's it called? Legit wrestling or whatever? Whatever the fuck it's called? Just just freaking wrestling. Part of Freaknet Studios, yeah. So sure, we were talking about sure the knows. Acolytes. Sorry, guys. So go on. All right. No, but the, the whole the whole like legends thing too. Like obviously we touched on how the people that were upset about the Kiati Mundi thing, which was legends, right? Then we're like, oh, Cortos is awesome, which is also legends. Like pick one, you know, you like legends or you don't, or like whatever. But there's more legend stuff here with this planet. We're, we'll just start with that. There's gonna be spoilers for the actual episode six, so three, spoilers. two, one, fart. Yep. So this unknown planet, we all in the text immediately said, oh, it's obviously Octo. It looks just like Octo. But then Leslie came out like the next day and squashed that right off the bat. She's like, this one is not Octo. It's like, so why'd you make it look like it? Like, what was why'd you have to come out and just was say it asked, wasn't was she Octo? Asked the question? Yeah. But did she ask the question and she said there was someone like, Is it Octo? And she's like, Oct no. <laughs> I wish. That's what I wrote in my notes. I literally put I put Octo but Oct no. That's what I put in my notes. I love it. I just want to. I just want to give us props here on Jedi Talk that it's been like two weeks and we haven't brought up a certain cultural phenomenon that's happened, and not a single one of us have made a joke about that. It's because I am out of. Yes, world. you know what I'm talking about. Is it about the thing that I think it's Star Wars? Yes, I know, but all right. Does it have to do with voting? No, 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 no. Oh, I thought that was what you were talking about. No, there was like a famous like TikTok that they interviewed this girl on the street. Oh, oh yeah, girl. yeah. I've only seen like two or three videos of it, which I sent in the group chat. No, that's right. We and had to like, we had to clue yeah. Evan into what that was. Yeah, because I'm like, this is the first I've seen of this, and Brad is like, really? It's been all over all right. for like a month. <laughs> I just want to say, but pat, yeah. pat yourselves on the back, gentlemen. That neither one of us have 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 made a made a joke yet. This this is Jedi talk. Are we maturing? Probably not. But no, welcome no, to 2024. No, no. Right. All right. But so this, this planet that's 
not Octo and might be a Legends planet, which is now coming into canon. So, hey guys, more Legends stuff. Why don't you like it? Um, it's It could be this planet called Baldemnik, or Bald, Baldemic, Bald, something like that, which Balsamic is like a Cortosis planet. So, we saw the Cortosis in this episode oh, interesting. on the planet. Okay. So, it's like, she probably wanted it to be that planet. So, it's why did they make it look like Octo? I'm not sure. But that's also like why they're using Kylo Ren's theme multiple times. I'm not sure. But so, isn't it like uh, it's it's like the if it looks like Octo, Octo is where the Jedi started. You know, that's that's where everything went down. Right. So is it like a, supposed to be a contrast to something else? Is it a contrast to the beginning of the Knights of Ren or something? Like like could be like if but, it was but the Octo. Ren goes forever. Uh, this, yeah, mm. like if it was Octo, it could have been that dark side cave that. Ray jumps in, you know, like that was right. Oh, there. that would have been so cool. Well, what if it's the other not, side of that cave? If you like go through it, this is the other side of it. It would still be it if well, it'd be the same planet if that's the case. Well, may, so it would be. Well, maybe it's some sort of like. Uh, I'm getting a little too too into the weeds here, and this might fuck it up. No, but, like I'm with you. I think a little bit like a yeah. horse, like next. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, and you. I mean, I mean, yeah. shit. Look at war, world between worlds. So, so you could do this, right, and this yeah. is less. It's kind of like a forced nexus, exactly where you like end up. Yeah. I mean, shit. Rebels did it too with with the the planet. You end up on like like a different side of the planet through that cave. So like you walk through there, you're on yeah. a different planet, like a somewhere else, and it's like this mm. opposite of it somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Or it's There's a something bit like there. Mortis, yeah. where it's not a planet, or it's kind of like how Ray and Kylo can transfer a lightsaber through the force. Oh like yeah. Like it's, it's something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. The, People who get paid to think it up will fuck that up. So, yeah, no, I, I doubt they're gonna do that, but that would make sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not asking them to do it. So anyway, the acolyte. Yeah. So, um, episode six was, um, you know, it was a slower pace, which I completely anticipated. Um, yeah. A lot of people are calling this episode filler. I'm not gonna fight that. No. I, I'm really not gonna fight it. Um, I like. It had some important information, honestly, in it. It did. I liked Q, uh, uh, you know, the stranger, uh, Q Mir's story. I think he was shined really well in this episode, but I still very much am just, I'm not completely bought into May and Osha at this time. I don't know why. I'm with you. Yeah. I, I don't know I why. got a little more into it too, especially in this episode, how the acting yeah. might've been a little off with whichever one was with soul, because in that instance, it's, that actor playing the character, but that character is playing their sister. Yeah. So it's like double double acting. So maybe that's why it felt off. Yeah. So it's like a- acting while you're acting. I don't know. Cause like, How I feel does like he in, not realize that that's not her? Well, he did. The, he finally, like five the like, creature told him. But, that I can't remember the name of the... Basil. Basil, part yeah. Basil, but part... But how, did, but how did he not know from the jump? Well, his entire friends and family just got murdered. So he was probably thinking about a lot of stuff. His mind was probably a little bit occupied. But Jedi can read minds. You wouldn't like just see how she was doing? I mean, he could have, but he was trying to escape, trying to get a message to the council and be sad about his family and friends Man, dying. I don't know. Like, and, fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and plus, we keep getting this thing where it's like the Balin in Ahsoka, where it's like, Soul's got something he wants to say. Say it, Soul. And then he never does. It's just like Balin. How it was like, he's going to say something mystical. And he's off on this quest. What is it? And then he never says it. That's right now how I'm feeling with Soul. I'm calling him Balin Soul instead of Balin Skull. Because they both just have something that they are going to finally tell us. And they never do. So Well, we're definitely getting it in episode 7. So I hope so. I think we will. But that's how I'm, I'm like, Soul, I love you. And you're my favorite character in this show so far but do what you got to do man please you keep teasing it how'd you guys feel about the lightsaber whip it was well it was quick because, it was quick. Yeah, I and I've, I've read it i I've didn't read think it, in the it would book. translate i didn't think it would translate well to live action and i was right <laughs> oh i thought it was fine no yeah, it's i think just having read about it already having it in my mind for over a year now probably it was in the trailer wasn't it just looks yeah so and it was bad. in the trailer I don't remember seeing that in the trailer. It just looked so bad to me. It looked so cheesy. It was like 
I feel like they're trying to cram too many ideas, and, and I know this isn't a new idea. Yeah, this but is a for the book. average yeah. person watching this. Oh. That's a new idea. I feel like they're just trying to do too much different, unique shit, and instead of just telling a really good story. Well, that's fair. I think I think I can see where yeah, it's too much new stuff for the average people. But I think it's still too a much good story. shit with the with the force now. Now it's like, you know, the Jedi are kind of, I mean, I guess it's really not that much, but like, I just, I feel like for the average person, it might just be a little too much. Look, nothing like about this show is ruining anything for me. So it's like, same. So it's like, I, I, I'm still so, I guess they call me middle of the road with the show. I'm like, I'm invested enough to watch it at nine o'clock every Tuesday. So there's gotta be something to say about that. See, I'm not, I forgot. But I, to be fair, though, I also forgot about the boys, which I'm very much invested in, and I think it's just a busy week for me. So it could just be that. Um, yeah. But I wanted to bring this up too. Did you guys see that report that came out? And I think I threw it in our group chat that the uh, Acolyte is the highest streamed Disney show, Disney Star Wars show ever. Like the second, I thought it said. Second. That's right. Yeah. Second. That's right. But it was it yeah. was second to. Obi Wan Kenobi. Fuck, was it Kenobi? Obi-Wan Kenobi. Kenobi. Which, yeah. Did, was that surprising to you guys? No, Kenobi was was high because it it pulls in the OGs and the in the prequel lovers because of the era was it, that is portraying. Yeah. And then but this, Hayden I was back. The one would be Mando. Hayden was back. I'm surprised this one is. Mando was new. I'm surprised on. Mando was new. I would have expected Boba Fett, honestly, because mm. people love Boba Fett, but they, yeah, they but, didn't like the show, but they loved him before the show, so they would have tuned in. So, okay, I, this is what I, I brought this up in our group chat so we could talk about this a little bit on the show. There, you, I don't think it's even up for debate that The Mandalorian has had the biggest impact on culture. Oh, I agree. Of anything Star oh, yeah. Wars has done. Oh, totally. So, I don't understand how, I don't understand how it cannot be number one or two, but have the biggest impact. That's a good, it's good. I mean, like that, maybe somebody's lying. I don't know. I, I don't understand have, that. I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. I, yeah. I, I know too many people that, that, that love Star Wars that aren't watching the Acolyte for that. Like, I just, I don't, I don't believe it. I don't well, believe it. I think, man, I think Mando has to be number two. I think part of that problem and probably what played into their equation was, wasn't Mando back when they were doing like the 3 a.m. drops? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So people weren't watching it as soon as it dropped. This is dropping at 9 p.m. So people oh, watching Disney's it drops. Do you think Disney's like right. fudging the numbers kind of? Yeah, they're like probably they're, they're like b- biggest thing, biggest ever at the at the time of debut. Interesting. Probably, yeah. I'll have to go look yeah. into those Which, numbers and what they exactly say. I am, I just don't believe yeah. it. I, I I just don't. I I can't imagine. I can't imagine that more people are watching and invested in the acolyte than were the Mandalorian. Mandalorian shit was everywhere. I know, I know we live in Orlando, so it's, we're a little skewed. Yeah, but think about all like the Mando and Grogu merch that came out. You don't see shit for the acolyte. Yeah, that's true. I there's saw no merch there's at all. Nothing. I saw uh, somebody wearing an acolyte shirt in uh, Hollywood Studios yesterday. I don't, I don't know where they bought did it. You, did you see an acolyte shirt for purchase or anything outside of the Black Series or TVC figures with merch? I on haven't it? even seen the. Figures. I haven't seen the figures. No. There's not shit. Like it's 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 like. It's but, such a. It's so weird that it's like it's a departure from how they do things. I mean, like even with like uh, Andor, there was Andor merch that came out, mm-hmm. and I, and yeah. I, again, I, I know guys, this is a little inside baseball because we live in Orlando, but Disney whores themselves out at every opportunity, and they didn't with this, but they're yeah. saying it's the most watched thing, and I just I don't fucking buy it. I don't buy it. Yeah, and if well, you, I think if I was gonna say if you want <laughs> proof of that, just look at the Tiana's merch when they whore themselves yeah, for something 100%. new. Yeah. 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 popped up they, and it, they do that great with every, yeah. every new ride every new attraction or show or anything they're going to do that with so but except acolyte um if you're going to see weird, someone right? wearing an acolyte t-shirt though you're going to see it in galaxy's edge because that's where the star wars fans are but like <laughs> yeah you'll see mandalorian shirts at target at walmart you know you just people wearing them i don't I haven't, right. I haven't seen anybody out in the wild as they say wearing an acolyte shirt i'm telling you it it it's it's there's just even if that is true, even if, even if even if somehow the acolyte is that popular, it is not as culturally significant as the Mandalorian. I agree. Yeah, I agree. as of right now, yeah, I agree. Yeah, but I 
I don't want to come across as us like not liking the accolade because I think I might be the highest on it out of us three, but I really like it so far. And we got two episodes to wrap it all up in, and I think they're going to do it, especially with the flashbacks coming next time and Soul Story finally. And then the finale, who knows what they're going to do with Chimere. Um, but that's that's really the intriguing thing after we get Soul Story. Yeah, maybe we'll hear more news about Darth Bane, or maybe they'll include some something like that. Right. Yeah. But then again, to to go with what Brad's saying, which I agree too, like they're throwing too much at the casual. Correct. Throwing in a new Darth thing would be a whole nother new thing on top of Cortosis and lightsaber whips and now a Darth Bane or Darth Malgus or whoever they pick. Like this would be a lot to throw at people. Eh. But do you think people feel slighted that like all of and I I think they're looking at it wrong. So I'm pre- I'm gonna preface this by saying that I think they're looking at it wrong. But do you think people are looking at this and kind of feel like they're undermining the thing they liked already? Where it's like, there's been no Sith for a thousand years. And, and then you do a show oh, sure. set 200 years before that. And people are like, what the fuck? What are you talking yes. about? Yes, yes. Not, yeah. realizing, That's why people... not realizing that the that the show is like intentionally doing that. Like yeah. it's, not a, it's not a writing error. They're intentionally yep. writing this to be like this. <laughs> exactly. That's the point. Yeah. They're doing it on purpose to show Kiati Mundi and the rest of the Jedi were mistaken. But people aren't smart enough to see that that's the point, to show the flaws and the mistakes. Do you think that's, that's part of the dislike of the show? Oh, yeah, thousand percent. For sure. Thousand percent. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. It's top of that. That and people back. can't stand the break of what they think is normal. So. Yeah. And it goes back to the whole Luke and Last Jedi, too, because, like, they didn't understand they're showing that Luke had character development, and he is a human where you have mistakes, you have consequences and grief and all that stuff. But so, like, better shoe. Mary Sue. Right. Yeah. They weren't, they don't. <laughs> I used to hate hearing that term so much. That's stupid. Like, that's, so that's stupid. one of those terms that came out of, like, one person wrote an article that yeah. used that term, God. and then every fucking person who had an opinion about Star Wars, who was like, she's a Mary Sue. Mm-hmm. Like, you've never yep. used that sentence, no. that phrase, that term in your entire fucking life, and all of a sudden you want to start using it like right. you know what the fuck it means. Shut up. That's like the movie <laughs> version of Karen. Somebody once said Karen, and then it became like Ooh. The, the, yep. the Karen, you know? Like, yep. But there's some, I don't know, there's some great stuff in this episode, if you ask me. Like, we got Chimere. Claim. Well, we didn't ask he you. Shut up. <laughs> okay, well, all right. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Chimir claims he's a former Jedi, so either he's telling the truth and that's interesting. He's Souls he's Padawan. And it's still interesting. Like, yeah, if he's Souls or he is. Nestra's maybe. Nah, Souls. I think it's Souls. Yeah, it could be Souls. But that was cool because, like, yeah, it's who is he? Who's he related to? How did he get kicked out? Or did he leave? That's a whole story right there we got to know. And then we got Vern. Vern, yeah, don't call her Vern if you read the book. Vernestra's ship, like, was in the books, and now we got to see it. In live action here, so that was sick. That's right. To see her ship for the first time, and then uh, very good. Chimere's had a lot of great lines. A great line from Chimere was how he was talking about the helmet and how it's a sensory deprivation helmet. So he's like, "It's when you put it on, there's nothing except for like I forget exactly what he said, but he's like, only what you take with you." Is it? He's like, it's like you in the force, that's Yoda. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's like, that's what Yoda says on Dagobah. So like, that's so. That helmet is so intriguing because it's like a dark side cave on Dagobah. But well, like a, a well, Evan, it can be yours cave. for one ninety nine ninety nine <laughs> through the Black Series. Evan it will be Evan. That that could have been a subtle nod that that this gentleman has met Yoda before. Yeah, I could have met Yoda. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. I didn't even think about that. And as much Did as they I say that, that Yoda's not showing up in this series, have they said that already? No one said know. yes or not. I don't think anyone's like flat out okay. asked. He might. He's gonna show up then. Yeah, yeah. I, I think wouldn't be so. shocked if this guy is like Yoda's pad one. Oh, interesting. That could be. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I had that thought the other day. I didn't want to say it anywhere because I wanted to bring it up to you guys. I think yeah, that's, that's what this one. is. Maybe that's why Yoda kind of went off on a while. Remember in the books, he like leaves Coruscant the sabbatical. Leaves yeah. The Jedi. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, sh- okay. That'd be cool. Man. Maybe just maybe. The master is in the last episode. They'll finally go to Batu in live action, and Jedi talk will be right. And it's the Kyber crystal that they dropped at Doc. Sure, the Kryn Kryn Dagboard. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. All right, that would be sick. Yeah, I don't but know. that'd be way way too deep cut. But I'd be here for it. 
That's right. Obviously. Any last thoughts on the ass light? I don't know. I, I keep calling it that, Brad. Brad, I brought it up once. I don't. It's just a. Fu- That's what the haters call it. it, it no, it's yeah. it's a funny thing to say. The acolyte. It's funny. Yeah. It's just funny thing to say. I, I don't. I don't think. It, I think it's stupid if you're calling it that. I mean, well, it's funny. Whatever. Yeah. So. Now, Kymir had another good question line where he like, Osha was trying to kill him while he was taking a bath, and he's like, "So if you kill me now, it's revenge, and is that okay? Versus killing me in the heat of battle? Like, how is killing okay one time, but it's not okay another time? Killing is killing." So he's making her think, and he's making us think, and he's got some good stuff, man. He's creeping into my second favorite character in the show, Behind Soul, because they're the you know the deepest characters. They have the most character arc to them. That's what makes them intriguing. My favorite character on the show got stabbed three times in episode five. So, <laughs> oh, Jackie, Jackie, yeah. My favorite character got killed in the first episode, Jedi <laughs> Trinity. <laughs> Indara. Yeah. Indara, yeah, yeah, yeah. Indara. Such a sad... What a fucking loss. I know. That made me so in, mad. I know. She's going to be in next week's episode. Her and Kilnaka are going to be kicking ass. Yeah, it's the flashback. This... Yeah, uh, yeah, episode seven has to be the flashback, right? Yeah, we'll get to see Kilnaka, because we still haven't got to see him do anything. <laughs> yeah. In the trailer, we saw him, and they even talked about getting Jonas to do stuff. So we're going to see Kilnaka at least kick some ass, and I'm sure Indara is going to be involved. And Torben, because we haven't seen Torben. Well, yeah, yet. I forgot about that guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make a thumbnail predicting that he is the apprentice. Of, who is this little, like, weasel fucking thing that's on the, like, the otter-looking guy? That's, that's, Basil. that's Basil. Yeah, that's the that's the yeah. sniffer dude. <laughs> He's just, like, sniffing Fuck that shit. Guy. I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like you don't him. like him? Oh. No. I want one of these. He's from Legends. I have behind me. I, I want a Basil plushie of him. His um species is uh, <laughs> from Legends. Put also, next to my Nubs figure, her figure, plushie, my Nubs plushie. Why'd you Why'd you pull the Nubs plushie from your lap? Good question. <laughs> For another time. <laughs> For another... <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, what if Chimer was Nubs Padawan? Jesus Christ. Yeah, and that's the ultimate or deep Kai. connection. And then well, Kai Bright stars. <laughs> when season two, <laughs> when season two nub begins, shows up as an old man. When season two of the Young Jedi Ventures it begins, they're all just staring at Nubs. <laughs> just like, what the fuck did you do, man? <laughs> like, how could you, Nubs? Yeah, how could you? Nubs is like, they're <laughs> <laughs> rated PG thirteen now. <laughs> if if the stranger never took his helmet off, I would have just said the stranger was Nubs. They've been like, that's it. The Sith is Nubs. Somehow, it's canon until you prove me otherwise. Yep, that's true. All right, gentlemen. Any... There's another nerdy, yes. nerdy deep cut for the book too. The, Go for la- it. the last nerdy deep cut I've got in my notes for how Vernestra mentioned uh, that they had she was going to go personally on this mission, and the other guy oh, with her yeah. kind of mentioned about how like hyperspace makes her uneasy or whatever. That's in the books. Whenever she goes, not every time, but most of the time when she goes into hyperspace, she has like these crazy visions that like make her black out. So the fact that they put a little joke in, be like, "Are you sure, Vernestra? Like hyperspace isn't the best for you, or, or whatever they said." He's like, "Hey, I get that. I get that reference." It's like a lot of nice little nerdy deep. Cuts. Sure, yeah, it'll go over people's heads. I not yours, obviously, but but people who think they're just out to push something. So, but I'm invested enough. I still don't get that. <laughs> no one can provide me one example of why this is woke. I don't oh, oh, that yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's so we'll stupid. never know. So, I don't, I don't get it. Dumb. Because somebody okay. once farted and the fart oppressed somebody. I don't know who the hell knows. I don't care. <laughs> All I know is, oppressive? yeah, <laughs> farts. <laughs> their farts are <laughs> oppressive. Uh, so we, um, I, I'm invested enough to see the last two episodes out. There's two more. Let's let's see it through, and then oh, yeah. I'll give it a grade, and I'll tell you where I like it. I think right now I'm. More invested in that I am in Book of Boba Fett, but yeah, but this is probably third for me behind Mando. Oh wow, yeah, it's not that for me. That is not yeah. for me at all. Yeah, it was at the beginning. I thought this was some of the best Star Wars we had gotten, especially on TV. But well, I mean, like just... live action TV series. I don't know. I didn't mean like anything else. Oh, I know. I don't know. I know. Yeah. I don't know what yeah, else yeah, you yeah, can put above I it. I still think. I still think I prefer to Andor over this. Yo, yeah, Andor is in my top three. It goes, like, you know, I knew that'd be Ahsoka, wow, Ahsoka, know. Andor, Mando, or no, no, or I'm sorry, Ahsoka, Mando, Andor, probably for me. So, 
and then yeah, this just this just fell off a little hard. Kenobi, for me. It, it, so. it's just like it's not over. I mean, no, yeah, I know, but I, I just I can't, I mean, like we can't, we know where this is going, right? Like we know where this is going. I don't. I really don't. I mean, maybe I'm just yeah, sitting I don't and think watching. we do. I think we got all the obvious, like, quote, twists that weren't twists out of the way. It was the whole, are they twins? Yeah, they're obviously twins. Oh, is the bad guy Chimir? Yeah, obviously it's Chimir. That was the whole, that wasn't, like, the whole point. That wasn't a twist. The big twists are coming. And if they're not, I'm wrong, and they mess up, then, hey, they messed up, and it's not that great. But yeah. the path they're going I think, on right now. I think now, they've I shown like us it. everything that was interesting about the show. I think you get a little bit more backstory, and you're going to see what Master Soul was hiding, and it's probably not going to be that interesting. And then my big... My big, uh, get my big guess, my like Hail Mary pass guess is that this guy was Yoda's apprentice. That'd be kind of cool, though. It'd be a jump, but yeah, it'd be interesting. So, I mean, somebody he he had to train somebody, of course. Yeah, yeah. If he's telling the truth, then he had to have a master. It could have been Yarl Poof. Could have been Apo Rancisus. <laughs> could have. Do you think it's, it's not Canon Biggs Darklighter, who's a different character now? There you go. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I feel like over time too, we'll come around on this because, like, I was just watching a lot of season three of Mando today. I watched the finale too, and like, even me wasn't me wasn't even I wasn't. <laughs> so I'm stumbling big time today. Me card read good. Even I wasn't too high on it when it came out. I think I might have liked it more than you two maybe. I can't remember for sure, but I remember not being like, oh, I love this finale. But I watch it today and like. I really enjoyed that finale of season three. Oh, most of season three. Season three's finale? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I felt I felt today. like it, it fell a flat. I, I, I remember no, thinking it, it fell flat. flat to me. Yeah. I think if you go back and rewatch it without like expecting something massive, I wasn't. it's really good. I wasn't. Because that's what happened today. I watched it and I was like, dang, this is a okay. better finale than I remember. I'll go check it out eventually, yeah. But I think that'll happen with this too. Once we see the whole picture and have some time to sit on it, I think even the people that are liking it but questioning it like maybe we are even though i think i still like it a little more than both of you i think we'll come around to like it even more over time but we'll see we got two episodes if they fumble it they fumble it uh if they keep going the way i think then it'll be good but who knows i would agree we'll see um at the end of it i'm middle of the road let's see if i stay there brad is obviously a lower peak hanging out with kyle who doesn't like this show either so uh <laughs> You guys got anything else? Why does he not like it? Um, he just thinks it's boring. Yeah, he. I, I remember him telling me that uh, he did not like episode five. Yeah, he thought that was how it was going to be when when it, he he had that going. In. I know. He had that I know. thought going. In. I know. He, he yeah. he's he's not even trying to like it. He's not. That's right, Casentino. You're not. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you in like however long through. What is it? Three weeks. Three Record weeks. it. I'm sure some of it is probably my bias because I've read like nowhere near all of the higher public because there's like 30 books i've read like five or six i'm over there looking at one two three four five i guess five and a handful of the comic so maybe that's the bias in me of having a handful of books under my belt and i'm like oh i really like this i've read a shit ton of the higher public and i just the stories were told better in the books that's fair yeah i agree even though i do like the series the books were mountains better but the oh books yeah some of the best books ever those books are great yeah, there's just there's you've got you've got a better avenue to tell a complete story in a novel too. So Yeah. I'm not That's just how not it defi- Yeah, I'm not defending it. So all right. Well if there's anything else, gentlemen, Brad, fumble us through on the way home. Speaking of fumbling shit. Yeah. That's me. I'm the stumbling one today. Everybody, have a great evening. Thank you for listening to Jedi Talks. I'm literally editing a thumbnail as we're doing this. I can't multitask. Hang on one second. All right. Thank you guys for listening <laughs> to Jedi Talk. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, stay safe. May the force be with you. Always in Tabooey Tales. Rise, Jedi Knight. Noise.